Hello, welcome to another tier list with a twist. I've got my better half with me, Bron. Say hello. Hi. We've just finished watching, what were it, season 10? Yeah. Season 10 of Married at First Sight Australia. And we're just going to go through the couples and just let you know what I thought. There's, uh, there's some, however, that I will have missed certain parts, Anna. Mm -hmm. So you might just have to fill me in on what's happened with a couple. But I've, I've got the gist of who people are. I'm quick to judge. So... First, we have, and you might have to remind me of some of the names. I think it's Alyssa and Duncan. Yeah. Right. What do we think? Oh God, Duncan, nation sweetheart, Alyssa. Well, she has a child. She's emotionally she, unstable as yeah. well. It's you know yeah. she made the child a thing really. No yeah. one else would talk. Duncan were fine with it. She was just like my child. <laughs> she she was an emotional wreck. Can I, we agree on that? Yeah, I think she'd make him. She'd sort of make out that it would feel one way. Yeah, and, and then, then impose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so she'd say that that's how he felt and that was the end of it. So what would you rate them? I think we should do it as a couple's ranking. Okay. So even though Duncan were a stellar guy, the couple's a D, in it? God, they were awful together. No, I'd say C. They're not, C, yeah. Yeah, they're not as bad as some. Like yeah, they got, on, they got on in the beginning, didn't they, mm -hmm. I think? Oh, it's Evelyn and Duncan. Evelyn. No, sorry, it's not. It's Patrick. Evelyn and Rupert. Rupert. Evelyn Rupert. and Rupert, yeah. Right, Evelyn and Rupert up next. Um, bless little Rupert's heart on the wedding day. He looked at her <laughs> and he could not speak. Because she's quite, <laughs> she's she's pretty, isn't she? Yeah, and, she is. And he was just like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, they, they were cute, weren't they? Um, yeah, I don't think they did anything wrong. As a couple, I'd probably go B. Yeah, I'd go B. Yeah. They did not wrong. However, she was very quick to get involved in other people's shit, wasn't she? I think she was the, the voice for people that weren't so confident. Like. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Sometimes I think that there was a whole butt dial incident. She was in the it thick was of that, dial. wasn't she? Yeah, I agree. Aha, uh -huh. guess who's next? Bronte <laughs> and Harrison. Is well, there anything below D? No, there isn't. <laughs> um, he'd make it, though. Hey, what a piece of shit. We watched her uh, get ruined by a man's emotional yeah. abuse, she was didn't very, we? Yeah, she was very different. Until she had enough, and then she stood up and changed. Yeah. But, God, to watch her become a shell of herself. I've never heard the word gaslighting so much between a couple. It's you fucking know, like, true, though, yeah. isn't it? She'd say it about him, and then he'd come back yeah. and say, no, you're gaslighting me. <laughs> yeah, and he'd always, like, throw grenades into others' relationships. Oh, and just, yeah. He seemed to have some He's weird agenda. So smug, like you'd see him laughing. Yeah, I, I, I think he was trying to get famous. Um, but I don't really see how that's going to do it for you, mate. I think they both were because they both kept staying. They both kept staying. There's no love there. Yeah, There's no feelings. she would we're take him. Daft. She would take him for a ride until her younger sister got involved and said, "Enough, he's a knobhead," and then it's done. I think she actually called him a narcissistic dickhead. A narcissistic dickhead. I'd have to agree, and then add some words that I can't say right now. But this guy is going fucking D. D. And the relationship is definitely a D. Okay, Adam. And Janelle. I didn't really rate him as a couple overall. Nah. I think she was nice, but she was, yeah, I think she was very judgy from the start about his career and everything. But then he was a shifty guy. Yeah, his, his ambitions in life was to start a podcast. He didn't really have much else going for him, did he? You know, unlike me, who's got a YouTube channel. <laughs> Adam obviously had a bit of a cheating scandal yeah. with the kiss. It turned out they both denied it. People were suspicious of it. And he'd kissed Claire, another bride. We're going to get onto her in a minute. He didn't show remorse until no. that reunion episode. And even then it were a bit... Wishy -washy. Yeah. I felt bad for her. She didn't really deserve any of that yeah. shit. So as a couple, I'd probably put them C. I don't think they were... They, were, they, were. they weren't toxic, no. really. He's we just a see, dick. Yeah, they weren't in long enough for us to see it. Claire and Jesse. I love this couple. Yeah. Yeah, and it's such a shame that the kiss happened. Because other than that, they'd have been flying. Yeah, they were really good. They were fun. Yeah, I did. I'd put them A as a couple, actually. No, sorry. What, what would you go? B. B? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can get on board with that. But when they were good, they were probably yeah, my favourite. Yeah, you know. they were one of my favourites, yeah. Just remind me of the name. Is it Lindell? Yeah. Lyndall and Cam. The country boy. 
who wanted a change and then changed his mind on wanting the change. Yeah, weird one that. I think halfway through he sort of realised it wasn't the one for it, for him, didn't he? And, yeah. But then the problem was that made it ten times worse. Beating round the bush, not being yeah. straight with her. Bit like being out in the bush. He that's, does. Yeah. He does. He loves a bush. <laughs> yeah. That's what we can gather. And obviously there was a little bit of a. Just remind me of that. There were a little bit of a cheating scandal mm, with, with Taylor. Her, yeah. With Cam and Taylor. Yeah. Um, and she doesn't deserve that, Lyndall. No. She got given a <clears throat> life expectancy of about thirty odd, didn't she, mm -hmm. at one time? And and now she's better. And just to get fucked over by a fuckhead in a top knot. I did like him. Yeah. It was just a simple, straightforward guy and not really an emotional person, was he? No. So I'm going to put them as C. Yeah, Alyssa. but I liked her. I'd go B. Yeah. I think she raises... She, raises she was so... Things. She was brilliant at being honest and upfront and like yeah. just speaking Very calmly. Very good at communicating. Yeah, feelings. God, yeah, yeah. yeah I think that, she was she just impressed matched me. with the wrong person. Yeah, probably so. But that last dinner party when... He dropped all these bombs on her. Mm. I thought she handled it so cool and collected. I would have liked to have seen her paired with Duncan. Well, do you know, fun fact, gang. Do you know who Duncan's with now? Who? What's it, Rupert's partner called? Evelyn? Yeah. Oh, yes, I've seen something yeah. about that, yeah. And going back to Jesse, Jesse and Janelle are together. Okay. Mm. Um, I can't see that No, woman. I couldn't. Apparently they bonded over the cheating scandal. <laughs> well, I suppose that's one way to do it. Mel, Melinda and Leighton, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. I love them. I think she sort of was more open with him than he wanted to be at Yeah, first. he was a bit emotionless. Yeah, uh, but they pulled it back. And yeah, the, the I must really be going liked him. Yeah. yeah, I liked him. I had to get him up at A. A? Yeah. First A gang. Okay. That's going to be controversial, that, I think. Mel and Josh. Poor Josh. Josh. Poor Josh, man. In his little toy story. I know, I know. Right, so basically this uh, this cougar woman has come in and just wants dicking on wedding day. She's just on about sex, sex this, sex that. I'm going to fucking hammer. shag. Yeah, I want Thor's hammer. And then, you know, little guy Josh like... Yeah, in. little Josh walks in like Ned Flanders vibes. <laughs> Um, and you're just thinking, what the fuck's going to go on? He's in his Toy Story pyjamas on the night, and she just wants a good dick. <laughs> I think, to me, he was a lovely man, mm. and he was made out to be a certain way that I yeah. don't think he was. But he's quite, he was quite reserved in talking about his look, like old-fashioned yeah. in that way, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, whereas she was the opposite, and I think she said some really horrible things about him. She belittled him a bit, yeah. didn't she? She was like, you're soft. And, and I think and... if he was saying that to her, there would have been more outrage. And there's another thing. She was not interested in a word he had to say or about no. his life. No, was she, she? she didn't even know what he did for a job or. I love Josh, but... I love I Josh, but as a couple, it's thing. low down, in it? Yeah. 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 They're not a great couple. Um, okay, we have... Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Yanni. Tani. Tani. <laughs> Tani and Ollie. Yeah. Amazing couple yeah. from the start. Never really wavered. So, S. Yes, S. Agreed. Never put really a foot wrong against no. each other, I wouldn't have said. You Never. know, very loyal to each other and considerate. Okay, uh, Dan and... Sandy. Sandy. I really love Sandy. I think she is just... I think she's lovely. I think she's genuine. Very genuine. And yeah. I think she came in for the right mm -hmm. reasons. Unlike Dan, I didn't get the vibe that he would try in with her. Did you? I don't know. I don't know what Dan came in for. <laughs> Dan came in to work <laughs> out six hours a day and go to the spa. Yeah, <laughs> she'd say in the commitment ceremonies, they'd all come together and she'd say, "Well, he's out six hours a day at the gym. Mm. Is he fucking really? <laughs> Who needs to be at the fucking gym six hours?" And then he said, "Well, I went to the day spa." Well, yeah. Don't well, you think she'd like? Her? Yeah, and yeah. Then he just kept saying, "All you sitting doing is watch TV." <laughs> Well, I was just waiting for you to get fucking home, mate. So, yeah. I, yeah, I think Sandy's really a bit inspirational. So, as a couple, they were terrible. Oh, terrible, But yeah. they weren't they Harrison weren't, and Bronte. No, they weren't. No, I'd go C. Let's go C with them. I think oh, we've got contenders God. for another D here. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor and Hugo. All I can say is poor fucking Hugo. Yeah, I say get in the bin. First night after the wedding, they go back to the hotel room. Obviously, it's an experiment, you know. Some people do choose to sleep mm. on separately, and that's fine. It was not up for discussion at all, was it? No. 
And he said, well, I'll, I'll, so I've got to sleep under the cold window all night. She said, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next day they did the challenge for, like, croquet or whatever they were playing. All right. And she said, oh, originally she said, whoever wins this game wins a bed for tonight. And then she won and it suddenly changed to, no, I said they win it for the rest of the experiment. Yeah, she, honestly. She was another Harrison, very... To be honest, she treated him like she hated him. And she yeah. hated him for no reason. But then the minute he said something to the boys, he, like, vented on the boys' night out. God, then yeah. it was like, world he War was the world's worst person. Yeah. But actually, she was an absolute bitch to him. She she was a bitch to him for days and days and days. Mm-hmm. He goes out with the boys and says, look, I'd have literally rather been paired up with anyone else in the experiment Don't that I've met him. so far. <laughs> Valid. Mm-hmm. She hates him. Comes back, finds out that he said it. It's fucking World War Three. <laughs> like, she ever fucking liked him in the first place? You go, I think... I think Aww. he was robbed a bit of his experiment. He, he, he really wanted to he give it a go, really and he was he was paired with a bitch. Um, I'm going to put these as D, though, are you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've got through them. Great series. They're just a bit long for me. I get bored. What are they, 34 episodes? 36. 36. Is there anything you've learnt about relationships? Anything um, you can take away from the expert advice? No, I think we do. All right, as we are. We're all right, yeah. One thing I learned from the uh, one of the experts, I can't, I think it was the male, is he John? John. John the expert. He said, uh, it's how you approach a, a subject. And while we're on it, you've been doing me fucking editing. <laughs>